Welcome to Atlas. In this screencast, we'll show you how to use Atlas's collaboration features to invite others to work on a project with you, to make, submit, and review changes to projects, and to merge those changes back into the master version of a project. My name is Sanders, and in this screencast, I'll be acting as the production editor on a book project. To start working in Atlas, I will log into the system. When I log into Atlas, the first thing that I'll see is a list of projects in the Projects dashboard. For this screencast, we'll be working in the O'Reilly Media Sample Book project. To access that project, I'll click on its name from the Projects menu. When I access the Projects dashboard, along the left-hand side, I'll see a list of files that are in the project. To add or modify collaborators to a project, I'm simply going to click on the Project Settings link. To add a new collaborator, all I need to do is enter their email address in the Add New Collaborators dialog. I'm going to add my colleague Dan, who's going to be the copy editor to this project. To do so, I just enter his email address in this field, and then I need to select the permissions level that he will have. I have two choices. I can choose to make Dan either a collaborator or an owner. Owners have full administrative access to a project, and can manage changes submitted by other people to the project. Collaborators have read-write access to the project, but all files that they edit are done in their own personal workspace. So collaborators make changes to the document and then must submit those changes for review to an owner who can merge it into the master file set. Because Dan will be serving as a copy editor, I don't need to give him full administrative access to the project, so I'm going to add him as a collaborator so that he'll be able to track changes that he makes during the copy edit process and submit them to me for review. So now that I've entered Dan's email address and chosen collaborator, all I need to do is click the invite button. When I click the invite button, you can see that Dan now appears as a collaborator in the project. He will also receive an email telling him that Sanders is ready to collaborate with him on the sample book project. That will provide a hyperlink that he can use to log into the system and access the project. Hi, I'm Dan, and I'm going to be acting as the copy editor on this project. To begin, I will sign in to Atlas. From here, I can see my list of projects, including sample book project that Sanders just invited me to as a collaborator. I'll click on that to open the project. Here you can see that as a collaborator, I do not have permission to edit master directly. However, I can add a branch, and now I'll be able to make changes to any of the files in the project. Now I'll open a file and make some copy editing changes. Here I'm going to make some simple additions and deletions as if I were a copy editor. I'm going to save the few changes I've made and open another file for copy editing. Here I've opened chapter 4 and again I'm going to make some simple copy editing changes. I'll save those changes. Now I'm going to compare the changes that I just made to the master branch by using the compare button found here. Here I can see the changes I made compared to the master branch. For example, insertions are shown in green and deletions are shown in red. You can see here I deleted as and inserted because. I can scroll through the chapter to make sure that I'm happy with all the changes that I made. I can click on chapter 4 so I can review the changes I made in that chapter as well, and so on. When I'm finished reviewing my own changes, I can then submit them to master to be reviewed. 
here, I'll leave a brief note for the owner of the project. And hit submit. Here I can see the list of pending changes. I'm the only collaborator, so now the only changes in this list are those that I made. My changes are now back with Sanders to be reviewed and possibly incorporated back into the master branch. So now I will sign out and this completes the copy editing. Dan has informed me that he's finished the copy edit on the project, so I'm going to sign into Atlas and review his changes. Again, I'm going to click on the sample book project from the projects dashboard. This time when I log in, I notice that on the review tab, there's a number one. This indicates that there's one pending change ready for review. So when I click on the review panel, I'll see the pending change that Dan left me along with the message, I am finished with my edits. Now I'll click the review changes button to review the changes that Dan has made. Additions that are made to the text are highlighted in green and deletions are highlighted in red. In the review panel mode, however, you can use the arrow navigation buttons to move between changes. The change highlighted in dark red or dark green is the current change. Here I'm navigating down through the changes by clicking the down arrow. And I can navigate backwards up through the changes by clicking the up arrow. For each change, I have the option to either accept or reject that change by clicking the corresponding accept or reject buttons. Here I'll accept the addition for everyone into the text by clicking the accept button. For the next change, I'll reject the change of the word as to the word because by clicking the reject button. There are often many, many changes to a given file. Accepting and rejecting each change individually can be a bit tedious. In order to speed up the process, you have the option of clicking accept all or reject all to accept or reject all remaining changes in a given document. So I will navigate through the remaining changes, make sure I'm happy with them all, and since I am, I'll simply click Accept All to accept all the remaining changes in the file. Atlas now tells me there are no more changes in this file. However, there are still some pending changes in Chapter 4 that need review. So I'll click the Next File button to review the changes in Chapter 4. Again, with the changes in Chapter 4, I'll accept and reject changes as appropriate. So first, I'll accept the change of capitalizing the word description in the table header. Next, I'll reject the change of the word stores to can store for array. However, at the same time, there's some additional changes that I'd like to make to that sentence. I can go ahead and do that right in the review panel as well. Finally, I'll go through the remaining changes and I'll click accept all to accept all remaining changes. Now all remaining changes have been accepted, and Atlas displays the green Save and Finish button. This means I'm ready to merge my changes into the master file set. To do so, I will just click Save and Finish. And now I'm being brought back to the Atlas dashboard. All changes have been successfully merged into master. If I were to click Chapter 4, for example, You'll see that the D in description is now capitalized as we accepted that change previously. Let's recap what we've accomplished in this screencast. First, Sanders added Dan as a collaborator to the sample book project. Then Dan logged in, created his own personal branch, and made copy edits to the file. He reviewed the changes he made by clicking on the Compare tab, and then submitted those changes to Sanders for review along with a message. Sanders then clicked on the Review tab to review the changes that Dan had made and then used the Accept and Reject Changes buttons to accept and reject all appropriate changes and then click Save to save them into the master document. This concludes the screencast on collaboration features. If you'd like to learn more information about collaborating in Atlas as well as features of our visual editor and design system, please check out our Atlas Knowledge Base which is available at docs.atlas.oreilly.com.